Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video. And in today's video, I have another episode of Top 10 for you guys. Now, as you can see on your screen, in today's episode, we are going to be doing our second edition of Top 10 Rares Builds in NBA 2K23. If you didn't see our first episode or our first part of the, you know, Top 10 or whatever, I'll link it down below. But I just wanted to do a second version because there's still a lot of builds that are really, really super rare that we don't really see like that in NBA 2K23, whether you're playing Park or Rec or Pro-Am or whatever like that. These are just builds that you just don't see like that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to be jumping into our second part. Um, in this video, I'm going to try to do a little bit more of a, like a breakdown or whatever on the build because I just felt like I didn't really uh, go, you know, super in-depth or whatever like that with the builds on the last video but this video i'm going to just try to give like a little bit more of a description on the builds and stuff like that um but before i get into this video um just if you can go ahead and smash that like button man the likes the ratings the comments and stuff like that helps the channel to grow and as you know we are on the road to 1500 so if you guys can go ahead smash that like button run those likes up i would greatly appreciate that but with that being said let's jump into the video now do keep in mind that none of these builds are in any order or specific ratings these aren't like from most rarest to least rarest or anything like that these are just the second group of top 10 you know rarest builds that i you know feel like that we just don't see like that in nba 2k23 so starting off with our first build we're going to be talking about the prospect build okay now most of the stats in this build are pretty you know painfully average you know prospect build is basically the reverse or opposite of the jack of all trades build you know what i'm saying whereas the jack of all trades you're literally a jack of all trades with the prospect build you are the master of none with this build you're going to have average finishing average shooting average playmaking average defense i mean you can have really good physicals though like you know high speed and acceleration and vertical and stamina but other than that, you're going to be painfully average across the board in pretty much everything. This is basically a meme build. I remember a lot of people were making this build in older 2Ks just to see, like, you know, if they could get a 99 prospect build and maxing out the prospect build and stuff like that. These days, you might still see people, mostly content creators, still making a prospect build just to see if they can max it out and stuff like that and see who can have, like, you know, quote unquote, the best prospect build. But you're not going to see anybody that's, like, you know, really competitive or anything like that running with this build it's just not a really good build you know what i'm saying uh moving on to our second build we're looking at the two-way pass first two guard you know and the two-way pass first two guard you're looking at average finishing and shooting with a uh, pretty great uh playmaking and defense um you're gonna have you know pretty good physicals as well with this build obviously there are much better guard builds you know what i'm saying that you can run with in nba 2k23 but this build in my opinion functions pretty well especially as a secondary ball handler type of build you know while also being able to you know spot up and play pretty good defense you you're basically looking at a three and d type build you know with this build but you know you also have um great playmaking as well to go with that three and d so I, I think this build is decent, especially for the name. It's such a dope name, two-way pass first, two-guard. Like, it's a mouthful, but it's it's still a nice name, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, moving on to our third build, we're looking at the shot-blocking wing. Now, this is a, a staple build. This was also a build that was in the older 2K games as well, too. Um, really solid 3 and D build. Um, this build is essentially the rebounding wing from previous uh, 2Ks, you know, this that's basically what this build is. Obviously, you can make a rebounding wing, but this is basically a rebounding wing. But instead of it being about rebounding, it's uh, blocking, you know, um, it's better because, you know, you have um, higher shooting and more badges than you could have in uh, older 2Ks when you made a shot blocking wing or a rebounding wing. Um, you also have better physicals and playmaking while still being an absolute nightmare on defense. Now, obviously, high blocking attributes, like I said, but pretty solid when it comes to steals, perimeter defense, and even interior defense, which is going to help you with getting those blocks and getting those stops inside the paint. Um, this is definitely a viable build, in my opinion, for those who, you know, not just want to play around and mess around in 2K and have fun, but also want to play competitively and, you know, are you know caring about their win loss and stuff like that 
it sort of plays similar to a hybrid defender build in my opinion you know except the defensive attributes aren't super super ridiculous you know as far as like interior defense and steals and stuff like that the hybrid defender build pretty much just max defense where this is kind of just max interior would block with some really good high steel and perimeter but it's not as good defensively as a hybrid defender but functions similar like i said uh moving on to our next build the two-way diming outside score um really great defense with uh good shooting and physicals you know as well as good playmaking depending on how you tailor this build um when I personally made this build, I was planning on playing this build as like a two guard lockdown kind of build that can also dish the ball and make those extra passes. You know, at a minimum, you should have like gold dimer, floor general, post playmaker, and needle threader, you know, which will automatically make you either the second best or possibly even the best passer on your team, depending on what mode you're playing. If you're playing Pro Am or Rec or Park and stuff like that, or even, uh, you know, Theater Threes. Um, this build is going to work really well as like a team player type of build, you know. Uh, you're going to be 3 and D, but you're also going to be able to pass that ball and distribute the ball, swing the ball and stuff like that. Make really good passes. And me personally, um, outside of scoring, knocking down threes and stuff like that, playing defense, like the thing that I love most about playing 2K is making like crazy ass passes, those bounce passes, those flashy passes, the oops, the backdoor bounce pass cuts and stuff like that, that you make where you just completely destroy a defense. That's the type of playing that I like to do. So this build is just a really good team player type of build. Uh, like I said, you can play a three and D role focusing on shooting and defense, but you also will be able to help your guard, you know, whoever's running point with playmaking and stuff like that too. Uh, moving on to our next build, uh, we have the back to basket big. Now you can make this build a bevy of different ways, but in most cases it's going to have two major things. And that's going to be high post attributes and high close shot attributes as well as high standing dunk attributes. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be back to basket. Anything else you do with this build will just be tailoring it to specifically fit how you want to play. It's a traditional big man build and you can even get some decent shooting and defensive stats on it too. So you aren't going to be completely one dimensional because as you know, in the NBA today and even in NBA 2K, uh, being one dimensional is a death sentence. Being a build that can only play inside or only play outside, a build that can't play make or play defense or shoot or rebound or whatever. It just makes you a liability. So you don't want to be completely one dimensional. Um, you could tailor this build into a catfish build as well by giving it good shooting attributes. You know, most people will see the name and they'll think back to basket big and they're going to be shocked if they see you running with an 81 mid range or a 75 three ball being able to space the floor hit those corner threes and even you know uh step out of the paint a little bit and hit those you know uh mid-range shots with that hall of fame midi magician so i really like the back to basket big it's something that you don't really see uh very often as far as big man builds there's usually about three or four big man builds that you normally run into back to basket big isn't one of those builds unfortunately but it can be really good uh this is one of those builds i feel like is best if you are a uh, experienced player, like an experienced 2K player will be able to cut up with this build, you know, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to our next build, we're looking at the two-way, three-level point forward build. Now, I have this build, okay? This was the second build I made in NBA 2K23. My first build was a three-level scorer, and I like that build, but that build, you know, it, the reason why I made this build was because my first build didn't have higher level of unpluckable i had silver unpluckable and you know how steals are in this game you need at least gold and i didn't really have a lot of defense i was still able to play defense because i'm a good defender and i know how to play defense i always make a lockdown in every iteration of 2k that i play i've been playing a lockdown in 2k since 2k what 15 2k 16 so i always make a lockdown build so i'm very well versed on defense but I didn't have a lot of defensive stats. I think I had like, what, like six defensive badges or seven defensive badges, which is enough to be serviceable, but it's not enough to play lockdown, real crazy defense, especially on the perimeter and stuff like that. And my build was undersized, so I went with a two-way, three-level point forward. Um, this is hands down, I don't care what anybody say, this is hands down one of the best all-around builds in the game. If you want an all-around build, 
you want a two-way three-level point forward. 6'8", small forward, you can shoot, you can finish at the rim, you can play make, you can rebound, you can play defense on the perimeter, and in the interior, you can do it all. And on top of that, it has one of the dopest names in the game, man. Two-way, three-level point four. I remember the first time I played with some randoms and they seen my name, and they were just like, oh, damn, like... Yo, what, what the hell build is that? Two-way, three-level point? Yes, bro. It's a, it's a hard build, bro. This is like a, another version of like a, a LeBron type of build. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and depending on how you tailor it, it, it can be, it could go super crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, moving on to our next build, though. We're looking at the two-way mid-range playmaker. Now, this build is another one of those good all-around builds. Uh, it pretty much lets you do it all depending on how you tailor the build. Um, decent finishing, really good defensive and playmaking uh, attributes with good shooting and really great physicals as well. You can also tailor this build into a catfish build as long as you make sure the mid-range is significantly higher than your three ball. That's the only real uh, thing that you need to make sure that you do so you get that mid-range in your name. Most people see that mid-range and they think, oh, well, you can't hit threes. And you're going to be more likely left open because they're going to be like, oh, he's a mid-range playmaker. He probably didn't put his three up. And that's the mistake a lot of people make. Don't leave anybody open in this game. Just guard everybody, bro, because pretty much everybody with the ability to give yourself any attribute you want, pretty much anybody can make anything. And most people, <coughs> excuse me, most people aren't going to just leave off shooting, you know, in most cases. There are some exceptions, but in most cases, people are going to make sure that they can shoot the ball because space in the floor is very important in NBA 2K. So, uh, moving on to our next build, we're looking at the Finesse Finisher. Okay, now the Finesse Finisher, just like its name, you know, finishing. Ridiculous finishing potential. Um, although your layup will be higher than your driving dunk, the build can still be you know, uh, in my opinion, extremely useful, um, can also be a really good cash fish build, um, as well, because most people, again, will assume that you can only slash to the basket, you're only going to be able to finish, catch alley-oops, lay the ball up, dunk the ball, um, you're looking at average to good playmaking with average defense, but really good physicals in most of the cases with this build, because the high level of finishing will require you to have a higher level of speed and vertical attributes by default. Because as you know, when you put your, you know, your layup and your dunk up, your speed and your vertical will go up as well too. So when you're putting driving dunk, layup, close shot and stuff like that up or whatever, all of those physical attributes are going to go up as well too. And if you're looking at a 97, 98 layup with a 80, 85 dunk or whatever like that, you're going to, you know what I'm saying, uh, have... Uh, a higher you know level of physicals because they're going to make your vertical jump they're going to make your speed and acceleration and stuff like that jump now do keep in mind that your layup has to be significantly higher than your driving dunk and your driving dunk has to reach only a certain threshold uh when you make this build because otherwise it's going to change the name from finesse finisher to fin finisher or to slasher so you kind of want to play around with those sliders with the finishing just to tailor it perfectly so you get that name finesse finisher but again this can be a really good build especially if you tailor it to have some good shooting and decent uh playmaking so you can put the ball on the floor uh moving on to our next build we're looking at the pass first big now this build uh to sum it up in one sentence is Jokic, but worst okay <laughs> that's what i would use to describe this build obviously you could make a much better version of Jokic if you wanted to try and make a Jokic type of build um but this build is cool because of the unique name you know um pass first big you know you you probably never even seen anybody with the name pass first big you might have seen it when the game first came out because everybody was experimenting and playing around with build names and builds and the attributes and stuff like that but you don't really see pass first big you don't but again like i said this build is cool because of the unique name but it really does pale in comparison to what you could make even if you wanted to tailor it and stuff like that you're still looking at a glaring weakness somewhere whether it be in shooting finishing or defense you're going to have a hole somewhere in this build um but it really is good playing to its niche okay and that's the one thing i will say about it if you play to your niche it is a really good build and that's going to be with passing and playmaking controlling the tempo of the game and stuff like that now depending on how you tailor this build you can give yourself serviceable defense 
and decent shooting, but you aren't going to be a super threat, uh, you know, at finishing though. You know, you you're gonna have a hole somewhere. So you're gonna have serviceable defense, decent shooting, but you are going to be awful, in my opinion, at finishing. You know, so physicals, while not completely terrible, could also be better too. You're you're gonna be fast because of the high level of playmaking and stuff. But again, you're not gonna be super strong. You you aren't gonna want to be the primary rim protector on this build. You know, it, the, the physicals, the defense and stuff, just isn't gonna be what you want as uh, somebody being your primary center or your primary rim protector in the paint. You know, and moving on to our last and final build. We're looking at the inside the arc point forward. And again, similar to the finesse finisher and a two-way mid-range playmaker, this build has really great potential for a catfish build because of the name alone. Uh, when you think inside the arc, uh, most defenders are going to think that you can't shoot when in reality, it just means that your mid-range and finishing is higher than your outside shooting. So you could be looking at a 75, 77, three ball, somewhere around there that's decent for you to hit outside shots. And they're going to think inside the arc, he can't shoot that three. I'm going to leave him alone and you're going to be wetting shots, you know. Um, again, really great playmaking, uh, finishing attributes with decent shooting. Um, an average defense along with really good physicals, in my opinion. Now, personally... When I first uh, found this build for the first time when the game first dropped back in like September and stuff and I was playing around, I spent like, you know, days in the build creator just trying to come up with different builds and build names and stuff like that. Um, I kind of crucified the shooting because I thought I couldn't have any three-point shooting, but you can have three-point shooting on this build. You just need to make sure it doesn't go past a certain threshold while also making sure your finishing and mid-range shooting is at a certain threshold too. So, you know, if you do make this build, play around with it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, try not to go past a certain threshold with the three-point shooting, but do give yourself three-point shooting so you can be an outside threat and play like a catfish build. You know, it's still a decent build, but I will say this. If I'm going with a point forward build, I'm probably going to go with the two-way three level just because of how great it is all around. But if you want a really good catfish point forward build um, that could throw people off, this is definitely going to be the build. Uh, for that in my opinion because the name alone will have a lot of people thinking that you can't you know uh, Shoot at all. So uh, there you have it. This is part two of our top ten rarest builds um, To go over the list again uh, prospect Two-way pass first two guard shot blocking wing two-way diamond outside score back to basket big two-way three level point forward two-way mid-range playmaker finesse finisher Pass first big and finally the inside the arc point forward. It's been your boy Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content. And of course, more top 10 build videos like this. I'm out, guys. Peace.